श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरो साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम द स्टडी ऑफ स्क्रिप्चर्स becomes fulfilling if we are able to draw the implied meaning of the statement implied meaning of the statement in simple words means moral of the story what we call technically as the tatparya nirnay when something is said are we going to get carried away only by the words at the superficial level or we are able to get the implied meaning of the statement see this is what we have to understand and therefore initially in this keno upanishad the truth was indicated as it is न तत्र चक्षुरु गच्छति न वाग् गच्छति न मनः न विद्महः न विजानीमः यथा एतत् अनुशिष्या न दिस वाज अ काइंड ऑफ एब्स्ट्रैक्ट स्टेटमेंट एंड व्हिच इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर एन एवरेज अनट्रेंड माइंड टू ग्रास्प द इंपोर्ट ऑफ दैट स्टेटमेंट दे गेट कैरीड अवे बाय द वर्ड्स एंड देयरफॉर वन ऑफ द डिफिकल्टी दैट कम्स इज व्हेन वी स्टडी समथिंग व्हेन वी लिसन समथिंग we start imagining oh i understood it this is the second mistake we do because it is not something to be understood objectively because earlier what it was said none of your known faculties of knowledge can operate in the truth which includes intellect also and after having heard if the student says i have understood very well that means he has gone the wrong way and therefore the teacher tells what you have understood is with reference to from the known you have imagined the unknown but you have not experienced the unknown as your own being and therefore the teacher says मीमा सवेवते यू हेव टू अगेन रिफ्लेक्ट इज नॉट दिस वे द स्टूडेंट डिसअपियर्स एंड अगेन रिफ्लेक्ट्स एंड देन ही कम्स बैक विद द सेम स्टेटमेंट ना हम मन्ने सुवेदेती नो न वेदेति वेद च यो नस्तद्वेद तद्वेद नो न वेदेति वेद च आई डोंट से दैट आई हैव अंडरस्टूड बट दैट डजेंट मीन आई हैव नॉट अंडरस्टूड i have understood in this manner that it cannot be understood this we have understood and there after the scriptural authority the shruti mata tells avidnyatam vijanatam vidnyatam avijanatam those who say they know they know not and those who do not say they know they only have experience because it is an experience without an experiencer how can there be somebody who knows 
the problem is that of the body and this happens with all intellectuals they are unable to drop the conceptualization they are caught up in the intellect the web of intellect and <clears throat> thereafter the teacher gives the urgency iha chet avedita asa satyam asti while listening in the satsang itself the experience happens iha chet avedita asa satyam asti that is the ultimate state no 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 i will try again and i will study again mahati vinashti satyanas the truth can be known here and now not there and then now this was all in a abstract language so to make it easy then a story is created that there was a war between the devas and asuras they was won the war and then they become arrogant because of me the war was won so who are those all those faculties the fire the faculty of speech air the faculty of gnanendriya mind the indra so when we rise above all our faculties gnanendriyas karmendriyas and prana shakti and we enter the kingdom of mind then we start working on the mind by the mind to go beyond the mind this is that every thought has in its root mr somebody and that somebody doesn't exist this non existing entity how can you help <coughs> see in mumbai this they think they have changed earlier there is to be that child societies one one room and 10 20 rooms together and everybody is to know what is happening in everybody's house so one night at about 1:30 2 o'clock one young couple were fighting so the neighbors came hey what happened at night you are fighting like that no no we are not fighting we are discussing what should be the name of the child so all the neighbors said congratulations so you are going to be the lucky parents no then no we are just thinking if there is a son what will be the name if there is a daughter what will be the name is, is she conceived uh, what conceived no where we were married only two days before so they were fighting about that which doesn't exist is it not our story remember this basic principle of life whenever we are miserable we are somebody and that somebody has no authentic existence see and therefore to bring us out of that chaos the teacher told all your faculties nanendriyas karmendriyas you have to rise above now a simple technique we told you how to rise above dekho suno mat bolo but don't keep on piling up in such kuch 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 it is better to vomit out than to carry the burden inside see two silent people are dangerous those who are bug 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 they are clear they are thrown out everything and they are empty but those who are keeping the grudge inside and then a time comes they are unable to handle themselves See friends, so this uh, fire and air, I can do the, I don't. Know. And when they came to know, no, I 
has no value in front of the divine will. Nothing happens in our life without His will. Every single event has a sanction of the divine presence. But we are, I, 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 I. And then what we do? We try to change the problems. Friends, remember this. We can never solve any problem of life. Problems have to be dissolved. They cannot be solved. See? But we keep on arguing. And the net result is we change the problems of life. But we are still problematic to ourselves and to everybody. So this point was brought out that when this arrogant two faculties, Nanendriya, Karmendriya, went and tried to prove what I say, what I say, when they become paralyzed, na etad ashakam adatum, I can't lift it. <laughs> then keep quiet. Then the mind, Indra was sent. And when Indra was sent, what happened? <coughs> Everything disappeared. Meaning, when you start working on your mind, it is something like, when you start seeing your eyes with your own eyes, the vision and the contents of the vision have no more impact on us. And for that, our Maha Mantra, Deko Suno Mat Bolo. What happens? We don't talk outside, but we keep on the grudge inside. And one day, one day it burst open in an ugly expression. See, my friends, if you have something, open it out, sort it out, rather than carrying the grudges together. This is how Indra went and the problem disappeared. Who is that Yaksha? Now, he is not asking why, why, why and about what, what, what. But now the inquiry was who? We are all lost in whys and whats. Get out of it, come to who. And when this happened, then Tasmin Neva Kashe Ajagama. See, in the same place, meaning what? In your own mind. Striyam Ajagama, Baushobhamanam, Umam, Haimavatim, Sahovaja, Brahmeti. How oh, beautiful it is. Friends, all the solutions of life are in your own mind. And all the problems of the life are in our own mind. They are not outside. See? And then that Uma, the scripture, the Shruti Mata, what she said, now here we enter the concluding chapter. Sa Brahmeti Hovacha Brahmanova etad vijaye Mahi yadvam iti tato haiva Vidanchakara brahmeti Sa brahmeti hovacha She said to Indra Meaning what? The Indra, the mind discovered Scientific discovery. What is the meaning of discovery? Something is already existing, but it is covered by something. And because of that, although existing, yet not experienced.
And where from the kahar comes? The kahar comes from the same source. Like because of the sun rays and the heat, the clouds are formed. Then these clouds, they cover the sun. And we say, oh, the sun is covered by the clouds. Are Dumbo, the clouds are seen in the light of the sun. Then what is covered? Our vision is covered. Sun is so infinite. Clouds are so small. The truth is, our vision is covered. But we say, the sun is covered by the clouds. Exactly the same way. We say, the problem is in the world. No, problem is in us. See, my friends, Sa Brahmeti Hovacha, he said, Indra Maharaj, you are divine. Don't try to seek happiness in life. Be happy. Seeking is covered by the seeker. And the sort is always present. And therefore, when the seeker disappears, the seeking disappears, what remains is the sort. Dhyatru dhyane parityajya deya mevava shishyate. When Meditator and meditation disappears. Whatever remains is the truth. And what is the truth? Na tatra chakshur gachati, na vag gachati, na manaha, na vidmaha, na vijani maha, yatha etar anushishyat. What is the truth? The truth is that mauna vyakya prakritita para brahma tattvam yuanam, your mouth becomes shut. That doesn't mean frowning. Why? I don't know you are since I am realizing. No reactions in life. Only response. Reactions are default settings. Response is with wisdom. Brahmeti Hovacha. And then she said, Brahmanova Etan Vijay Mahi Advam. Oh, um, fire, air, or the mind, you are glorified because of the divinity that you are. Remember this basic principle. See, this example I had given you a number of times in my so many talks. Many of you are professional listeners, so you know, before I talk the example, you know. Somewhere, some people were doing namaskar, and one educated, illiterate, she was standing, and she asked me this question. Savadi, when unknown people come and do namaskar to you, how do you feel? So I gave my cup of tea to her, hold, don't drink it. Then I told her, hey, stop. She is my mother. And to prove it, I touch her feet. Then I said, if you do namaskar to me, you get one kilogram of merit. If you touch her feet, you will get one quintal. Now decide. You diverted. And I took my cup of tea and went away. Now she was nailed. She can't go anywhere. One after another. And when our time of departure came, now she was trying to find me. And I was hiding. I said, I know what is coming. And finally she caught me. Swamiji, you are nasty. I said, no, Mama. You have asked me a question. When unknown people come and do namaskar, how do you feel? Got the feeling. Do you know one basic thing? I told her. People don't do namaskar to you and me. 
the divine that is expressing through us that is respect brahmano va etad vijaye mahi advam your glory is divine is expressing through you see friends so sa brahme ti huva cha brahmano va vijaye etad mahi advam tato haiva vidanchakara brahme ti and therefore after having studied the scriptures if we do not come to discover our divine nature something is wrong with the teacher <laughs> how dare i tell you anything ji <laughs> maharaj let the bliss that you are express don't seek happiness expressing happiness means living at zero complaint level there is a complaint on this how many time we should say this living at zero complaint level complaint or complaint etad vijaye idanchakara brahmeti now after having said this now the teacher goes further tasmad va ete devo atitaram iva anyan devan yat agni vayu indraha te yenan nedishtam paspruśuste येनत प्रथमो विदांचकार ब्रह्मेति तस्माद् वा एते देवाः सो बेसिक प्रिंसिपल एक्सपीरियंस इज ऑलवेज थ्रू नॉलेज लेट इट बी एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ गेन और एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ लॉस इट इज ओनली थ्रू नॉलेज imagine i have a lottery ticket in my pocket and uh, as usual i forget and give it to wash to the lady and uh, she also see this fellow leaves things here and they say oh there is some um, lottery ticket so she puts it on thing and washes everything then she goes home and then let me see whether what is that lottery ticket and then she sees and that lottery ticket is valid for 1 million dollars when it was not known it was a piece of paper gain or loss is always through knowledge and therefore it is said tasmad va ete devaha therefore among all the faculties which are all the faculties karmendriyas and nanendriyas karmendriyas na karmana na prajaya dhanena action can never lead to realization because what is an action when something is distant we have to cross the distance and reach there to get it if something is incomplete we have to add something and make it complete if something is impure then you have to clean it then it becomes pure is it this way that the truth is far away we have to do something to go there is it that we have to add something to make it complete no and therefore na karmana na prajaya dhanena but we get so much involved i want to do this i want to do this and the disease of doing is we do meditation the highest folly see once i was in somewhere in scandinavia and uh, my friend told me sami ji i am searching for some restaurant where we can get indian or vegetarian food he saw oh we got it we went there and uh, you know the name of that restaurant was karma because the karma word has become very popular in the west so he says sami ji 
what should we order? I say, you don't have to order, you get praradha. He fails. Karma, karma, karma. All the time, enough of it. See? Therefore, tasmadva ete deva atitaram iva anyan devan. So among all the faculties that we have, which are the faculties? Dhanendriyas and karmendriyas. And among them, the two of them, they failed. But there was one better thing. What is that? They put efforts. At least they were able to face the reality face to face. They began their journey and came to know this is the wrong way. When we know the error in our life, in our thinking, that error is the blessing of God if we get the message from that error. Arjuna's error was what? Katam Vishma Maham Sankhe Dronam Chamadasudana. But what are the truths? The truth was on the battlefield, you are only a warrior. Not anybody's relation. Then how to deal with the relations? Karnataka. So whatever role we have to play, play that role so perfectly. And for that I tell you one technique. Make fool of others. If you are a husband, tell the wife that there is nobody like you in the whole universe. How do you know? Have you seen so many? No, I have not seen anybody. Therefore, Ponyosi Sadrushotoya, there is nobody like you. Chadhaupar. If you are a wife, make a fool. It is easier to make the husband fool than to fool the wife. Then your uh, family will be fulo ka bagicha. You said like this, I said like this. Oh, 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 oh. See? Don't make life miserable. We are here to celebrate life, not calibrate. Uh, in uh, Germany, probably, one couple, I was staying, and uh, I said, hey, where is your husband? Swamiji is not my husband. No, we are separated. But we are living in a relationship. We are no more husband and wife, but we are having a living in relationship. I was completely paralyzed. Nothing, how can you understand out of it? It is beyond the Brahma Sutras. <laughs> it was a Brahma Sutra. Then I opened the um, fridge. I said, uh, Mama, mm, I want to take Coke. Now you take the left one. Why? Right one is his, left one is mine. <laughs> if you go to the bathroom, right slipper is his, left is <laughs> Are you not making a mess of your own life? See, friends, don't become too serious in life. Life is a celebration. Don't calibrate. <coughs> what do I get? Think how much I can give. Yes, I am giving problems to everybody. <laughs> See, my friend. Therefore, tasmadva ete devo atitarami yo anyan devan agni vayu indra. They are superior because he ena nedishtam Pasprashuste, they were face to face the reality. Means how we attend you. They, um, Vayo, or the Nanendriya. Now, when I am looking at you, what can happen? When I simply look at you without any comment, without any reaction, my vision is like a mirror reflecting everything. 
reacting nothing, retaining nothing. Now to recognize this, what sadhana you have to do, tell me. In the same manner, good thoughts come, bad thoughts come. Mind is the same. Mind is neither good nor bad. Similarly, childhood has come and gone. Teenage has come and gone. We are the same. Recognize this. Therefore, we have to get out of these wrong notions. And I can do this, I can do that. Everything is happening in his will. Continuing further. Tasmadva Indraha Patitaram Iva Anyan Devan Sahenan Nedishtam Pasparsha Sahi Enat Prathamo Vidanchakara Brahmeti Now among all the faculties, Nanindriyas and Karmendriyas, Nanindriyas were superior. Now among the Nanindriyas and the mind, mind is superior. Now what is meaning superior? Uh, in Kathopanishad, a mantra comes. Indriye bhya parayartha, arthe bhyasya param manaha, manasastu parabuddhi, buddhe ratma mahan paraha, mahataha param avyaktam, avyaktat purusha paraha, purushanna param kinchit, sa kashta sa paragati. See, this word para, 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 eight times it is repeated. So what is the meaning of para? Para has three meanings. One, it is subtle. Second, it is closer. And third, it is the ultimate. So, as compared to the structural eyes, the functional eyes are closer. As compared to the functional eyes, the mind is closer. As compared to the mind, individual intellect is closer. As compared to individual intellect, total intellect is closer. As uh, con uh, comparison to the total intellect, the Ishwara Shakti is closer. And as compared to that, Paramatma is closer. And that is the ultimate. So it is a journey of Regress, not progress. When you talk about progress, you are extrovert. When we sleep, do we progress? We regress. And in that ultimate regression, all that can be regressed is rejected and that one who was rejecting and regressing, ultimately, he also has to disappear. Like when we go to sleep, don't demonstrate. When we go to sleep, we start dropping everything. Ultimately, we come to our bed and then everything is dropped. Last is what? Now I want to sleep. I want to sleep. Till such time, if I and want is there, sleep will not begin. And when this I and the want, pain, that disappears, the snoring begins. And therefore, if you ask a person, hey, why did you snore so loudly? He will say, I never snore. Because snoring is happening. And therefore, when you snore, it is neither a sin nor a merit. Because the eye is not there. That is the ultimate. And why snoring? Because we are happy. Can you be happy in a silence? It is a condolence meeting. See, 
So let there be noise, chaos and enjoy. That is spiritual life. He is not going to the forest and becoming lonely there. Where come, oh come, again. No. Therefore, after having rejected, then he came to the mind. Tasmadva indraha atitaram yo anyan devan sahi yenan de ne dishtam pasparsha. Now it is the mind, the indra, he alone touched the divinity. See? The colors and forms, when they are withdrawn, <coughs> we come to the vision. Applied for all the sense objects, we come to the sense organs. Sense, on or, sense organs are withdrawn in the mind. Now what will happen to the mind? Mind has got two options. Bhagwan Vedavyas, while writing his commentary on Patanjali Yoga Darshan, he writes, Mind is a river which flows in both directions. In Amruta Bindu Upanishad also, similar thought comes, Mane eva manushyanam karanam bandha moksha yoho bandhaya vishaya saktam muktam nirvishayam smrutam. Mind, when it is extrovert, it becomes the cause of bondage. The same mind, when it is dropping all extrovertedness and is withdrawn, nirvishayam. Withdrawn means what? Don't have to go anywhere. Meaning, no experience will disturb us. Experiences will happen. And disturbances are in the form of happiness or misery. Both of them will be labeled. See? And it can happen only through understanding. See? Like if you stand in front of the waters, look into the water, your reflection is seen. If you put something to disturb the waters, if the waters are um, disturbed, waves or ripple, ripples are there, our reflection also will be look, looked upon as if it is broken. But is it happening? No. Exactly the same way. All your relations, all your possessions and resulting into the personalities, they do not exist. How can you fish out your reflection from the dirty water? And our struggle is that. I want to be happy as a father. You have heard Ramayana, is it? Do you know the message of Ramayana? Message of Ramayana is, even if your son is Sakshat Avatar of Narayana, because of the son, Rama, father Dasharat died. And this is the story of the father of the Narayana's avatar. What about you? Our bachas are kabutar. At the most they will do everywhere for us to clean it. Don't get involved too much. Play your role perfectly well. Don't get involved too much. See? Now, most of you are elders here, therefore I am telling you that. Don't get involved in your children's life. You have destroyed your life. Let them, no, but we want to help them. Destruction. Keep away. If the father and mother demands a proof that my children love me, will you call them as parents? Have the children to give a certificate. Mom, I, lo I love you. Mom, I love you. No need. But this is what happens. And therefore the samsara begins. Therefore, when we drop the worldly objects, come to the sense organs, drop the sense organs, come to the mind, drop the emotional chaos and come to the I. I be attentive. I is individuality. 
I as mother, father, mother, husband, wife. So are we one inside or a bunch of poultry farms? Now which I is real? There was a couple many years before it happened. And in their marriage, <clears throat> I happened to go by mistake. And then, when they were married for about uh, 15 years or so, they um, came to me. Swamiji, we are constantly fighting. I said, I know, I came to your marriage. And uh, it is because of that you are fighting. I am sorry having come to your marriage. No, no, no. The Upadesh that you have given, that is creating problem. So what is the Upadesh? You told, marriage means 1 plus 1 is equal to 1, not 2. He said that is the problem. What is the problem? Which one? Either I the husband or I the wife. See friends, nobody can help you in life. Therefore, work on your mind and then when you start working on the mind, you stop reacting and start absorbing. Slowly, slowly, you will come to discover that we are all miserable, never for something great in life. Now tell me, who of us are miserable because we could not become the president of America? Our misery is, I got up in the morning, she, she even did not ask me, will you like to take a cup of tea? <coughs> Enough. All day gone to dogs. Are you a baby or what? <laughs> Useless. Give one. One example I'll tell you. This happened in Delhi. In some school, there are some function. So after the function was over, the principal told me, uh, Swamiji, um, oh, we are all busy, but this teacher, she is going that side and that is nearer your place, she will drop you. I said, okay, no problem. So she was driving me. For the first time, I was sitting with her in her car. I didn't know who is she. So casual talks. And I do not know. Many times when I say something, why I say? It, it is said. I don't know why. I just uh, sat and the car started. I said, Amma, how are you? So, Swami, I am all right. I said, how is the cold war at home? When I said, she took the car on the side and parked. What? Petrol cold? No. Did anybody tell you anything? I said, Kshamaswa. No, I just made a mistake in talking. I am sorry. He said, no. You are right. We are not on talking terms. For so many months now, it's becoming almost a year or so. We are living in our house like strangers. What should I do? I said, I'll tell you, technique. But don't tell my name. It's okay. Technique is, all the husbands want babying. And those who want babying, they can be fooled instantaneously. Now, how to do that, Swamiji? I said, that also I had to tell you. <laughs> no, Swamiji, please tell. I said, look here, it is like this. You start becoming possessive of him. How? Now, suppose he is going for work and he has put on this. Don't put on this thing, it doesn't look good on you. See, this one I have bought for you. See how nice you look like, you know, a hero. Then we should go in. Yesterday's hanky, remove it. I have fresh for you. Put on that big on spray. <laughs> slowly, slowly, he will start thinking that she cares for me. 
day. Unless you come, I will not take food. You have to come early. Take food. <laughs> but when she comes, then, uh, see, you are going to kill me. I am so hungry. You, 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 and we will sit together and eat. I tell you that fool can be controlled in no time. Story is not over. <laughs> After six months or so, that lady who has never come for satsang, never, completely a page three type of girl, lady, she came to my place. Samiji, I don't know how to thank you. I said, don't thank them. I don't need your thanks. Really, your uh, prescription works wonder. Now, he got a necklace for me. Your investment, handkerchief with me. Make a fool of each other and be happy. Fools alone can be happy. All the time, Gambhirananda. God did not create this world out of seriousness. He created this world for time pass. See, it is not your fault. All the Babajis like us. They tell you, Upanishad, it is so difficult and it is not for everybody. You have to have Viveka, Vairagya, Shama, Dhamma, Uparatne, Shraddha, Tetisha, Samadhar, Mukshutva and the student, thank you, <laughs> goes away. It is fun, it is joy, it is cheer, it is fulfillment. See? Therefore, Tassesha Adeshaha. Yadeta vidyuto vidyutada iti anyam ishadva iti adidaivatam the sesha esha adeshaha. Now, this is how you have to practice. Adesha is instruction. You know, in the path of Nath Sampradaya, Goraknath. All Nath Sampradaya, they have this word, Adesh. That means no further discussion. You have to do that. Adesh. So, Tasya Esha Adeshaha. Now, what is that Adesha? This truth is revealed to us just like a lightning in the sky. It will click. It is not a struggle. Just clicks. Don't become serious in life. You <clears throat> click. How easily, casually, the lightning comes and goes. Doesn't remain all the time. In this manner, in and through everyday experiences, sort out those moments when. You were nobody. And whenever you are nobody, you are happy. And when we are nobody, when we are lost in something intensely, see? Suppose you are studying something intensely, your tea, cup of tea is kept there. It will become cold. You will not even remember that you have to take a cup of tea. Because the one who wanted to take a cup of tea, he disappeared. So whenever we are somebody, we are bound to be miserable. So find out those moments in your life which come definitely like the lightning in the sky. See friends, but instead of remembering those moments, we remember all the garbage. Remember the good memories, good events of your life, not the bad ones. See? But human mind, when the road is good, you will never remember. But on that good road, if there are some speed breakers or some kinds of holes, that will definitely, oh God, it will. Bad things we remember easily, good things we forget. You know why? Because in bad things, we react. In good things, 
we absorb. We don't react in life. The sesha adesha, this is the instruction. Count good moments of your life, not negative things. And this is Adeshaha. This is an instruction. Follow it in letter and spirit. Otherwise, all the time, Tutu Mai Mai, there was one lady, now she is very old. When she was young, she wrote me one poem. Very good writer. She has helped me a lot in some of my book editing in Hindi. She wrote me. Thereafter, I gave her all the work. Swamiji, before marriage, my, 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 my. After marriage, my, two, my, two, my, two. For one month. After that, my, my, two, two. My, my, two, two. After few months, my, 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 two, 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 my, my, my. And I being a Gujarati, my means who? Who, two, 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 who, two, 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 two. Whole life is a kabaddi, kabaddi, kabaddi. Are yaar shanta rona. Remember good moments of your life. Why we don't remember good moments? Because in bad moments we reacted intensely. In good moments we were not there. There was bliss without anybody becoming happy. Therefore, we tell you, the real spiritual practice is drop this body and remain as nobody. So, iti adhidaivatam. This is the way you look at the world, like lightning comes. Everywhere darkness, dark clouds, the way lightning comes. Don't we feel happy? Hey, see how beautiful it is. See? During daytime, there you can't enjoy the beauty of the lightning. Only the dark clouds you enjoy. So see something good, something positive, even in the worst times of your life. So it is um, Adidaivatam, then comes Adhyatma. Mm -hmm. Atha Adhyatmam Yadetat Gachativa Cha Manaha Anena Etat Upasmarati Abhikshnam Sankalpaha Now Atha Adhyatmam. Now we are seeing this thing outside. Suddenly we become ah, beautiful for a fraction of moment. It is outside. Now see within. Atha Adhyatma. Atha Adhyatma. Yadeta gachati yucha manaha. Anena cha etar upasvarati avikshnam sankalpaha. Now always think about the good moments of your life. Not bad moments. Think something good. When we went there, it was so nice, beautiful. Good. And what about the bad? From the bad things you learn, from the good things you enjoy. See, friends, a failure is a success if you are learned from your failure. And a success is a failure if you have not learnt anything from your life. Very peculiar mathematics. Therefore, we told you so many times, real spiritual life is, we have to learn from every single passing experience of our life. Atha edan gachati vachamana anena chayetan upasmarati abhikshnam sankalpaha and this is what is called as the Nirvikalpa Samadhi in uh, 
Um, <clears throat> another very beautiful text. In that text, it comes. Every one of us go through Nirvikalpa Samadhi every day, dozens of times. But we are not knowing this is Nirvikalpa Samadhi. We know waking, we know dream, we know sleep, we know anger, we know frustration. But what is Nirvikalpa Samadhi? That we don't know. In Tripura Rasya, this thought comes. Probably in the 18th chapter, if I remember correctly. This is Nirvikalpa Samadhi. Patanjali Maharshi calls it as Asampradnyat Samadhi. Asampradnyat Samadhi, wherein the Pradnya is not divided into knower and known. The Triputi has disappeared. In Sampradnyat Samadhi, there is Triputi maintained. When we thus practice our spiritual life outside and inside. Outside, wonderful events happen. Enjoy, celebrate. Inside, be happy. Thereafter, what will happen? Tadha tadvanam nama Tadvanam iti upasitavyam Saya evam, saya eta devo veda bihi, hainam sarvani bhutani samvanchanti. One is the Sanskrit word, it's not English. But even if you take one, it is the same thing. Tadha tad vanam nama, it is the one. There are two types of ones. One type of one is the one which can be multiplied or divided by two. There is another kind of one which can neither be multiplied nor be divided by two and that is the infinite. Tadha tadvanam nam iti upasitavyam. Vanam is worthy of seeking in life, worthy of experience of this. Tadvanam. Tadha tadvanam nam iti upasitavyam. Therefore, what should be upasana? Upasana means what? Upa means near. Asana means go and sit down. So we have to sit nearer to our divine being. Now what is happening? We are at the periphery of our personality. So much of property, so much of achievement, so much of relations. We are at the distant periphery. And all that is possible if there is a center. The spiritual life is start from the periphery wherever you are, migrate toward the center that you are. Tadha tadvanam nama iti upasitavya. See friends. And then one day it will click. Really, when childhood has gone, what I have lost? When teenage has come, what I have gained? When teenage is lost, what I have lost? When middle age has come, what did I gain? When middle age has gone, what I have lost? Old has come, what did I gain? When old age will go, what will I lose? That on which the mathematics of addition and subtraction does not operate. He is tadha tadvanam nama iti upasitavyam. Deko santo. Tadvanam nama iti upasitavyam. Saja etad evam veda. He who thus comes to realize this truth, then what are the symptoms? Veda vi enam sarvani bhutani samvan chanti. Everybody loves him. That is the fulfillment of life. To love 
and to be loved is the fulfillment in life. Okay? Imagine you go home and the moment you open, knock the door, your wife opens the door and she puts on the dress what you like. And then she takes the bag from your hand and holds you with the hand and makes you sit on a nice sofa. And their warm water is kept with a nice fragrant uh, towel and smell. And then she removes your shoes, socks, and takes the water and the napkin, wet it, squeeze it slowly, not hurriedly, and slowly wipes your feet. Only hearing you are happy, is it not? I know it never happens. Only hearing you are so happy, if it will happen then. Meaning what? Wherever you go in life, you are welcome. Therefore, to love and to be loved is the fulfillment of spiritual life. Tulsidharji Maharaj says, there are two people. The bad people, when they go, people are happy. <laughs> and the good people, when they come, they are happy. So both of them give happiness. But one, by the going, and other is coming. So Sarvani Bhutani Enam Samvan Chanti. Sri Maharaj, therefore, here now last two, three months are very beautiful. Upanishadam ho bruhi Ityukta te Upanishad Brahmi vava Te Upanishad abrumeti Now the two students say, Sir, please teach me Upanishad. Are Dambo, was I telling you some story or what? I told you Brahmi Upanishad only. Now, this is not the meaning. It looks like that. Now, for concluding this thing, that Upanishad brings this type of story, type of thing. Now, who is qualified for this? Remember one thing. In government jobs, there are reservation quota. On the spiritual path, there is no reservation quota. No, but you know, so Amidu, we are married. Is it a qualification or what? Married. Many people say, Swami, it is okay for you. You are a sannyasi. But you know we are married. Okay, then I will keep reservation for you. 99% reservation for Garastas, sannyasi, dhakke khao. See, friends, therefore, what are the qualities which are required for the student so that he can come to experience this. This is the question that asked. Now that Upanishad says, Tasse tapodama karmeti pratishtha Veda sarvangani Satyam ayatanam Now to know the reality, the Brahmi Upanishad. See, Upanishad Shabdena Brahma Vidya Uchate Bhagavan Shankaracharya in his uh, analysis of this word Upanishad in Kathopanishad tells Upa, Ni and Shad. These three things put together makes the word Upanishad. Shad is the Dhatu, Upa and Ni are the suffixes, uh, prefixes. Upa means near, Ni means Nishena with, with commitment and Shad, this Dhatu has got three meanings. One is the Shada is the destruction, loosening and uh, destination. So Upanishad gives us the direction to reach the destination and all the negativities are destroyed and thus we are reaching our own being. Therefore Upanishad means I. So, Tasesha Tapodama Brahm Karmeti Pratishtha. Therefore, what are the requirements of spiritual life? Tasya Tapaha. Tapasya is, be attentive. Tapasya is 
invited problems. It is very cold, but we go and stand in the Ganges. Why are you doing it here? Don't create problems. You people are our grasthas, isn't it? Very proud. Somebody homemade. I suffer because of this homemade. Many times, you know, the hotel foods are better than the homemade foods. Because if the hotel food is not good, nobody will buy it again. And homemade food, if you don't say good, then goodbye. See, friends. So you are all the time talking about homemade, homemade, homemade. Don't go to forest, jungle or Himalaya to do tapasya. Then homemade tapasya. What will be homemade tapasya? If you are happy because your wife is wonderful, good, you are not doing tapasya. Homemade tapasya. Kali, karali, cha, bhayana, ka cha, and yet keep smiling. Kya tapasya chal Homemade tapasya. Tapasya is not torturing yourself. Tapasya has two main aspects. One is, we must have self-confidence. And second thing is, we must not be dependent on anything or anybody in this world. When we are not dependent, we don't expect anything from anybody. And for this, I tell you, one of the principles which I practice in life 24-7, the principle is, I have no right on anybody in this world. Now tell me, what right I have got on Ravi? No right. Tomorrow he will say, Swamiji, next step, next step please don't come, okay? Okay, thank you. What right I have got? See? The day... You write off your rights right away. You have learned spiritual life. But if you don't write away, write off your right, they'll perform your rights right now. <laughs> and then you suffer in life. See, friends, do we have right on our own mind? In the same manner, the other person also has no control over their mind. It is something like one person was um, getting carried away by the flood waters. Other person, hey, bachao usko, bachao usko. Then we don't know swimming. Then why don't you, I also don't know. Then keep away. No, no, I want to help him and jump and together die. We are the victims of our mind. The other person is the victim of their mind. Two victims are trying to understand each other. Dono dumbo. See, friends, real love is understanding and not misunderstanding. See, friends, therefore, the say is a tapaha, no more misunderstanding. Be confident, everything is perfect. And as I told, we are never miserable because of something great. Small little thing, you know. I went there, they did not even look at me. People look at cartoon, yaar. you are the human being, how they will look at you? See? Unnecessarily making prestige issue out of stupid things. Tase, tapaha, then damaha. Dama is control over faculties. Only one faculty, tongue. See, the tongue is such a poisonous thing in our life. Because of tasting, it destroys us. And because of talking, it destroys everybody. See, control one organ. The Mahadev, Karmeti Pradishtha, Karmane Vadikara Steva, Paleshu Kadachana, Ma Karma Palahe Purbu, Nati Mati Sangastu Akarmani, meaning what? Make an excuse to express happiness through action. 
Don't do anything to get happiness. Let every expression of life be happiness. Physically do something happily, you will not be tired. You speak happily, you will not be bitter. Think happily, you cannot be negative. Foundation of life. Karmeti Pradishta Veda Sarvangani and therefore our scriptural authority is the ultimate. We hold on to the instructions given by the scriptures and Satyam Ayatanam hold on to the truth. We are in this world only for one purpose that we are non-specific unqualified existence. See if I am with uh, my wife, I am a husband, but I can't be husband 24-7. When she goes away, do her work. But we carry that burden of the dumb husband who doesn't exist anywhere. Learn this, very simplest spiritual practice. All the relational personalities have no existence. One man does not become three because he is a son, he is a husband, he is a father. He has not become three. And who is miserable? These three are miserable. How can you help them? See? If the father dies, nothing happened to the son because he can't be a son thereafter. If the wife dies, nothing happened to the husband. If the son dies, nothing happened to the father. But if the man dies, all three disappear. So what is the reality? Reality, we are man first and then all other things. Recognize this and practice this. See? In this manner, when we thus continue, Yova etam evam Veda apahatya papmanam Anante svarge loke Jeye pratidishtati pratidishtati Yova, whosoever he may be, Yova, Etam Evam Veda, this reality, he who comes to discover as his own essential nature, uh, Apahatya Papmanam, the sinful body is destroyed. Who is a sinful body? Somebody is a sinful word. Nobody is the happy one. See? Apahatya Papmanam, the we are papi if we are somebody. Therefore, the children call the father. Papa. Papa ha, papa, oh papa ha. See, friends. Therefore, we apahatya papmanam. Then, anante svarge loke jaye pratisishtati. Thereafter, life is lived cheerfully and happily. When you go from your work home, don't go happily. Go with your suitcase in the hand and hang it. Ah, God. Then you'll be respected. If you go at home in the evening, Isko mil kya hai? Whom did you see? This comes in 19th chapter of Gita. Play fool and be happy. With this, we conclude this Upanishad. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om